Kia ora everybody, welcome to another episode of uh, Tag on Community. This week we thought we would circle back onto a thread that uh, popped up on Community a couple of weeks ago, which is a really great question that I think we'd both agree is probably not asked as often as it should be, um, which is some tips for a newbie who's implementing Marketo for the first time. Josh and I jumped into this thread at the time, but I thought we could have a little bit of a chat about Mm. what some of our top tips are for people who are jumping into Marketo for the first time if they've got no experience with the system. Yeah, I might start off, um, I guess, here, because I think for me, one of the biggest things is all around documentation. Um, And I guess what I mean by that is is, is a little bit more than just documenting your business as usual. So documenting everything that's in your your actual instance, because making sure that you've got your things like your operational program is actually documented correctly um, so that it's easy for people to actually follow and understand what's happening. I think it's really good to start better understanding what the business requirements are and what your own requirements are for programs, campaigns, so that you can start understanding and fleshing out what that briefing process actually looks like. Um, I know for, for me, part of ours includes things like an actual change log, who those key stakeholders in the business are, what are our success metrics, just so that we can better um, report and hand over on these things. Just so if I happen to be out of the office for whatever reason, anyone can pick up the brief, have a bit of a look, and then instantly know everything about the program itself that's been built onto my keto. Yeah, I agree. And I think it's not just just about like those technical details of what has been built out it's also about going into like what is the business um, requirements behind this? What was mm-hmm. the scenario that led us to thinking we needed this? And what were our objectives here and how were we measuring them? I think those are details that are really important to capture too. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. I think as well for me, I know I mentioned this in the thread, um, but like one of the number one things has got to be you've got to get that you've got to get your naming conventions down on lock, right? One hundred percent. And I feel like any of us who have spent a wee while in Marketo have seen enough horror stories of when that doesn't happen <laughs> to know your name and conventions for programs, your folder structures, um, especially if you're thinking about like implementing workspaces or partitions or anything like that. Yeah. Get that down from day one. <laughs> Do not let that skip by. Holy cow, you don't want to let it is such a mess if you have to fix it later. Yeah, one hundred percent. I've I've lived those nightmares many a times before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, completely. And I think for me as well, um, it's like it's not even just programs. It's also like one of my big pet peeves is bloody um, images, oh, images in goodness, design yes. studio. If you do, if you're not naming those right, because you cannot mo- you can't change the folder that an image is in once it's been uploaded. Yeah. And really the location of it makes no difference from like any kind of structural searching, anything like that. So having a really clear naming convention for images as yep. you scale is so good. Yep. I always put the program name, um, the, the like overall general purpose of the image, like if it's a hero image, I'll put hero in, and then also mm-hmm. the dimensions because I've got quite fixed um, dimension sizes for um, a lot of the images that I use in emails and being able to search just by those dimensions and know that everything that pop up, pops up is going to fit that module is yeah. really helpful. I think the key to making sure that these things work just tying back to what I was talking about before is making sure that it's bloody documented as well. Hell yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that it's not just you who's got it stuck in your head that everyone else can kind of pick it up and run with it as well. Yeah. I think that's the key. And um, I think a lot of it's about accountability as well, right? You oh can yeah, start gosh, out yes. you can start out with the best of intentions, but it doesn't matter for damn if it's not implemented <sighs> consistently, reliably regardless of who it yeah. is in the system, how many people you have, if it's one person or whether it's 300 people, um, none of it matters. It doesn't matter if you have a naming convention, if that naming convention is not being applied consistently. If it's not being applied consistently, you do not have one. No, well, that's exactly it. I mean, if anything, it just makes my life a hell of a lot easier from a searching point of view. I mean, I in, in my instance, um, there are probably about, I think there's close to 40 people in our Marketo instance. Yeah. Um, and so we need to have a strict convention and in terms of naming file like sort of the folder st- folder structure um processes and things just so that 
whenever it is that I need to review programs, it's so much easier for me to actually start searching for these things. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. It makes life so much easier. Yeah. Completely. Cool. Any other key tips that you've got that you want to share? I think the only other main thing that I would look at um, sort of mentioning is is actually getting to grips with my tokens. So your program and folder level tokens. Mm. Um, these are things that can be evolved and molded out over time. But if you're sort of starting to play around with one or two of them, even if it's for something like your um, copyright copyright date and address details for yeah. at the bottom of your email footers and things social it just media makes links so much easier yeah so much easier yeah yeah i would i would second that completely um i was talking to someone one of the champs actually this morning about different ways that i use tokens um mm. they us they can be slightly more advanced um, there's, yes. there's a bunch of different ways that you can use them. They can get really complicated for a beginner. I would say don't start out too complicated. Just start to wrap your head around them, start testing them out. Like Josh said, in a few simple scenarios, um, and gradually start to scale it, but you will find it does make things a lot easier. Um, yeah. if you've got anything that you're referencing multiple times across tons of different assets, stuff exactly like your, um, your physical address or your social media links or, um, copyrights details that sort of stuff um i would definitely start looking into tokens sooner rather than later yeah as i say have a look into them start playing around with a couple of other options a couple of variables in them but don't get too yeah don't get too worried about fleshing out an entire strategy for them because it's something that'll evolve over time yeah you'll figure out what way works best for you um yeah. i don't know anyone who uses tokens the same way across different instances like everyone's no. got different things that work best for them and you'll figure out through using it what works right for you yeah yeah but i mean other than that i think those are my major points i mean look this is in all honesty one of those topics that i could talk on for ages so but i don't on. think i really need to be boring everyone <laughs> about all of this um so i think those are my key key sort of top things i don't know if you had any other thing to any other things to add honestly the only other thing i would add is that um and i think you'll totally agree with me on this that Probably like 80, 85% of what, I, of what I have learned about Marketo is from digging in and trying stuff, from jumping on community and looking up what other people have done and seeing what questions they've had and yep. from, from asking questions and from researching. So um, there are tons of resources that are available to you. Welcome to the Marketo community. It's a really <laughs> fun place to be. Um, and like hang out on our YouTube channel. Check out Joe Wright's YouTube channel. He's got some really, really amazing guides on how to do a bunch of stuff. Ask questions in community. Yep search for things on community um, and don't be afraid to reach out and make connections and join your local user group. That would oh, be my other piece huge. of advice. And if you're in yeah. Auckland, come and see Josh and I at our user group. <laughs> cool. Okay. Well, we'll leave, we will wrap it up there for today. Um, cool. But if you are a beginner to Marketo, uh, feel free to ask us any questions. You'll find us on community or you can comment um, down below somewhere, somewhere here. Somewhere down here. here. Down here. Down here. <laughs> and um, feel free to subscribe and check out any other videos that we have that are around that you might think are helpful. But otherwise, kakite anō, happy automating, and we will see you next time. See ya.